carbon fiber nylon is already very strong material, of course depend on the stress type, but how much stronger is the object if we add some continuous glass fibers direct into printing? Welcome to my tech fan. One of my Patreon supporters from UK contacted me if I can test some continuous glass fiber reinforced CD printed parts. He has the access to the Markford Onyx Pro CD printer, which can insert these uh, glass fibers into printing itself during the printing, and with this it should make it much stronger. And as always this is not a sponsored video, this request just made me curious, so I accepted the testing. I have three groups of the test objects, they are in these bags, only I moved them here because it's easier to operate with them. And uh, the first group is just set of carbon fiber nylon onyx test pieces with 0.2mm layer height and maximum number of the valves. And uh, these are just uh, typical carbon fiber reinforced filaments with the small fibers like uh, other filaments I tested so far. And this group is printed with settings which I usually use for my test objects. And just quickly I have here these hooks, tensile test, layer adhesion test, impact, bending test, temperature test. And also I have a C test objects for the creep test, only I already started the creepings, but they look something like this. The second group is most important, it is a set of continuous glass fiber reinforced parts with 0.1mm layer height, and 2 watts and 100% infill. Only the temperature test object was uh, printed with only one wall to allow some carbon fibers to be in these bags too. The print settings for the third group is very similar to the second one, only very big difference is that here we don't have those uh, glass reinforced fibers inside. So this will be just for the reference and I'm expecting similar mechanical properties of groups 3 and uh, 1. Before mechanical testing let's talk about numbers, let's start with print times. Reinforcing with glass fiber with 0.1mm layer height, the printing time was uh, 4 hours and 54 minutes for these test objects from this testing. And if we don't want to use the continuous glass fiber reinforcing, in that case uh, the printing time is 3 hours and 49 minutes, so 20% more time is uh, slower if we using these uh, glass fibers. And just for reference, uh, with 0.2mm layer height and the maximum number of the walls, these are the settings which I usually use for my test objects, the printing time would be 2.5 hours, but using the same settings on X1 Carbon, the printing time would be 15 minutes. Let's talk about cost. This is the volume for the filament and this is for the glass fibers and this is the total cost and approximately we can see two and a half times expensier is the material cost if you want to reinforce it with the glass fibers. And these are just uh, numbers, cost of the printer and as you can see this filament is also quite expensive and also these uh, glass fibers. And this is a quote from my supporter. So this printer is very slow compared to the modern printers like X1 Carbon and it is highly optimized to print this uh, carbon fiber nylon, but they do this really reliably. And interesting that they, you don't even have the heated chamber or heated bed. And this is some information from the slicer. On the right side you can see a reinforcing line. This is a test object for the tensile and the creep test. And this is the hook. I'm starting with the hook test and my testing order will be 1, 3 and group 2 it will be at the end, which is the strongest reinforced with the glass fibers. And now group 2, I'm scared a little bit. And this is that reinforced hook. I'm not sure, maybe those are those glass fibers. And now this is the tensile test with horizontal printed test objects. And this is the average value for these two test objects. And this is group 3 with 0.1mm layer height. A little bit weaker. And this is group 2. I started with this uh, crane scale which can measure up to 200 kilograms. Absolutely no visual deformation on this test object and uh, I cannot go much higher because even these holders are not designed for too big load. But I will switch the crane scale, but I will go maybe up to 250 kilograms only. Second attempt. Limit of this crane scale is theoretically 500 kilograms, but I don't want to go about 250 too much because uh, I don't want to damage the holders. They are in perfect shape, absolutely no signs that these are tested objects. Only with group 1 I have test objects for the layer attention test. Usually if I would have this big difference, 
I would represent the test objects, but here I work with what I have. Three point embedding test and here you can see me in action when I'm placing these loads one by one and I'm measuring the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. And here you can see all three objects side by side and the glass fiber is on the right side, the strongest, but pay attention the one in the middle, how much bigger deformation it have compared to the group one, which is quite big surprise. It was surprising to see so big difference here between groups 1 and 3. And this one right for the glass fiber is completely striped even now. Impact test with this half kilogram hammer. Group 1. Zero position. Group 3. Group 2 with glass fibers. <laughs> it's not even started with the bending. Since it didn't even start with the forming, I will try to break it on this machine, which can measure up to 5.5 joules of breaking energy. I was optimistic, I measured the zero position. And now glass fiber object. One more time in slow motion. That was the impact position of the hammer, and it just started with the bending, but it is still completely solid. I tested really many 3D printed test objects with this machine, but not even one was even close to this state. And between group 1 and 3, well the group 1 is again stronger, tougher material in this case. Temperature test in the oven, so these three are these nylon filaments, and uh, I believe that they will not even start with deformation on 200 degrees Celsius, but I have to stop the experiment there, and I will see how hard they are. And this is some carbon fiber ASA, and uh, I believe that I have to take this out much earlier. This is a speed up time lapse video, and the first test objects started the form earlier. And on 150 degrees Celsius, I opened the oven and I took out this ESACF part. And on these nylons, I couldn't see any deformation. And uh, you will see it started the form very suddenly on 190 degrees Celsius. Looks like the surface starts with the boiling, and after this, they deform very quickly. 207 degrees Celsius, and I can see quite a lot of deformation. Wow. And currently I cannot see any bigger difference between them. The crypt has a deformation under the constant load of 1.25 kilograms. Mm, even now definitely less deformation on the reinforced part. 1654. 1695. It has so small deformation that uh, this bolt cannot go into this gap. 1272. This is the last fifth day, I already measured them. And again, I can see slightly more deformation on group 3 compared to the group 1. And on this with the reinforced with glass fiber, absolutely no additional deformation. There is some small inaccuracy in measuring because I cannot use the holder here, but uh, basically no deformation on this part. Now let's remove the load. Side by side all three and I changed the order group one, three and two. And I already measured it, zero permanent deformation on this test object. And now the results, you can download this Excel table from mytechfund.com website and for my Patreon supporters, this one line will be added to that summary table because these are those settings which I usually use for my test objects. Let's start with the creep test and this is the rough data, the distance between two reference surfaces and more or less we can see that group 1 and uh, 3 are very similar. Uh, group 1 slightly stronger and uh, this will be visible constantly during the other testings too. But let's see the creeping which is the difference between two days. And uh, here we can see that on uh, reinforced with glass fibers, zero creeping basically, almost no changes. Uh, with the other two, the creeping reduced on day 2 but it was more or less constantly present even on the fifth day. On a tensile test, uh, this is extremely strong and uh, don't forget that uh, this don't even break. And just for reference, uh, two strongest material are PPACF and the polylite polycarbonate. And uh, the average PLA breaks around 86 kilograms. So this is incredibly strong. And don't forget the tensile strength is even higher, but I couldn't break the test object. On the layer adhesion test, I have only this one type. And this is more or less average for the PLA, so not bad, but uh, I don't like that I have this uh, big difference between them, but uh, this is what I measured. 
and on the hook test uh, I thought the difference will be bigger but yes definitely much stronger is the glass reinforced uh, version and again group 1 is slightly stronger compared to the group 3. On the bending test let's jump immediately here the smaller values are better and uh, this is very good for the glass reinforced version and I'm not sure why but a huge difference between group 1 and uh, 3 maybe here the printing type is a very big uh, difference uh, this was printed with a 0.2 millimeter layer height this with 0.1 but uh, more important that uh, this was printed with maximum number of the walls and this was printed with 100% uh, infill and only two walls I'm not sure why but huge difference here and um, let's continue on the impact test again huge difference and don't forget the impact strength is even bigger compared to this number because uh, this object did not break on this test and between these two again slightly tougher is the group one on the temperature test I couldn't see any big difference between them an interesting behavior on 190 the surface started with boiling or something like that and then it suddenly deformed so I wouldn't go uh, near this temperature neither but uh, this is what I measured here now the conclusions and first about the, uh, the nail on itself and this is the group one which will be added to that uh, summary table for my Patreon supporters I mean, not special about its mechanical properties I mean I tested much stronger material especially in this price category because it is quite expensive but when it is reinforced with this continuous glass fiber it is completely different story it is very strong in x and y direction <laughs> theoretically I could send back these test objects they are in perfect shape the equipment itself is quite expensive but it is always good to know the possibilities and maybe we can use some 3d printing surfaces for example but that will be it for this episode and big thanks to my Patreon supporters because basically they keep this channel alive. Without them there will be very minimal activity on this channel and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell button too because in most cases the notification is sent only to those who click that uh, all notifications button too. Thank you for watching and happy printing.